Hi everybody, welcome to the 96th annual Downtown Presbyterian Church Waffle Shop. One, two, three, four. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making that list. Checking it twice, gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows if you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. You better watch out. Better not cry. Better not cry. Santa Claus is coming to town Curly head dolls that toddle and coo Elephant boats and kitty cars too Santa Claus is coming to town Little tin horns Little toy drums, you got your rooty toot toots and your rummy dum dum. Santa Claus is coming to town. The kids in the girl and boy land, they're gonna have a jubilee. They're gonna build a toy land town all around that Christmas tree. You better watch out, you better not cry. Better not Santa Claus is coming to town. 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 To town. We hope you're having a great holiday season. Indeed. My name is Les Kerr. This is Brent Stoker. Hey. We do this every year. We're so glad to be a part of the Waffle Shop. It's a great tradition that goes way back in the history of downtown Presbyterian Church and downtown Nashville itself. So we're just very excited to be a part of it. Hi, I'm Dixie. And I'm George. And I'm speaking to you from inside the downtown Presbyterian Church here in the heart of Nashville. In 1925, the church began the Waffle Shop, which over the years has evolved into an annual holiday event to support the church's outreach programs, in particular our outreach to the homeless and the urban poor. Traditionally, on the first Thursday in December, business folks, Nashville celebrities and community members have come to our church and to the waffle shop to have lunch, and shop for baked goods, and holiday gifts. All these proceeds go to our homeless outreach program. For years, George has served in the kitchen and I have been a server, a waffle maker and a baker and we love it. Church members and others from greater Nashville community have joined us in this cooperative effort to meet a critical need. Volunteers come together on Waffle Shop Day. They serve as greeters, cooks, servers, musicians, docents, ticket handlers, crafts makers and bakers as we serve waffles, sausage, and lately, hot chicken, all with the joy of the season. I don't think anyone could have imagined how dramatically different circumstances would be this year with masking and social distancing. We really want, though, to continue the waffle shop tradition, even though it won't look like it has before. We will miss the excitement, the, the preparation, and the camaraderie this year, but we hope that the good cheer will spread to those in need. We, we are, are glad, glad to support this Nashville, Nashville tradition. tradition.
We're Matt and Kim. Hi, we're new recruits uh, to the waffle shop world. We both worked last year and it was a, such a great opportunity to see how far reaching our congregation uh, is in the national community. It astounded me just how many people um, really enjoyed coming and they've been here years and years and years. Um, but it was a lot of fun and uh, we highly recommend participating in any way that you can because it's such a um, an institution, I guess this might be 91st year? 96. 96, excuse me. Um, but it, it just has to go on. So we would encourage any uh, any way that you can to participate away. My name is Betty Harkness, a longtime member of the Downtown Presbyterian Church. Imagine this, 1976, 10 women in the DPC kitchen to debone 14 turkeys. <laughs> Some of those dear women are my friends to this day. We deboned and froze turkey to later make the famous turkey hash using the original recipe of Waffle Shop 1924. More volunteers came with wreaths and red ribbons and bows, poinsettias, and a huge Christmas tree. It was so Christmassy. We shared all the work with joy and laughter until we were completely ready to open the doors for Waffle Shop. I remember the line of guests going down the hall, out the door, and down the street. The Fellowship Hall was so welcoming with Christmas music and the smell of fresh waffles. It was a warm and festive and very traditional Christmas occasion of fellowship. The COVID-19 pandemic is not allowing it to happen this year, but in our hearts, let us celebrate the 96th Waffle Shop anyway. In the joyful spirit of Waffle Shop, let us be warm and festive and hospitable and welcome the Advent season. Come Lord Jesus with blessings and peace. Hi, I'm Ann Landis Jatan. I'm a member of Downtown Presbyterian Church and I love Waffle Shop. So I'm here to tell you that typically in a normal year, we would be gathered in the fellowship hall, but this year we are making waffles in advance and then we're going to hand them out to our homeless friends on November 7th. I was a server at Waffle Shop last year and it is a great event and we will greatly miss it this year but we are glad that we can continue the tradition in some way. Thank you! Silent night Holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child. Oh, Oh, uh -huh. 
shop started in 1925. It was initially called Christmas Bazaar and it was held at the beginning of the Christmas season uh, the first Thursday in December. It gained favor and the first church ran it until through 1954 when they moved to Franklin Pike and I took church took up the mantle. Uh, you were the first man to run the waffle shop. And Denny now, Harris and I, I was not the only one. <laughs> well, you were the first man yeah. to run the waffle shop, and I think you did it in about 2000. The price initially was $3. Now it's $10, and you get waffles and either sausage or chicken hash. We used to serve turkey hash, but four years ago we changed it hot chicken. The Waffle Shop was originally a fundraiser, not for the downtown Presbyterian Church, but for the women of the, of the church organization, and right? They, and they gave it to the poor, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I programs to help the poor in downtown. I remember Cousin Mary Orr, who is of uh, the Glen Levin Thompsons. Her nephew, Joe, was a wonderful member at First Church. But she stayed at the downtown church, and I remember she sat up on the left side, um, and she had a hearing aid because she was hard of hearing. 
But every year she would bring her cook, Catherine Douglas, who I remember, down to cook waffles. And in the early 90s, Catherine, after 37 years, was still doing it. And here's the recipe we still use, which was Catherine Douglas's recipe. My name is Tom Bile, and I've been a member of Downtown Presbyterian Church for about 25 years. And in that time, I have served on the Waffle Shop committee and group, um, and it's been a lot of fun. In recent years, I've been one of the coffee and tea servers, and I'm going to miss that because I've met a lot of really wonderful people. This year, though, my job is being a taste tester for the baked goods. I think I like this job. <laughs> Waffle shop, I just sit here and think about all of the people who have come through here eating waffles and really kicking off their holiday season together in great Christmas cheer, and it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. You know, part of something that's been around for a very long time and in this place that's so special. Happy to be a part of this, and one of the great things about Waffle Shop to me is that we have volunteers from all over the Middle Tennessee area that come to do this every year. It started as a way to raise money for the church when Church Street was a downtown bustling retail and business center and people would come, and to this day, we have everybody from high-ranking politicians to people who live on the street, and it's a, it's a great microcosm of what goes on in downtown Nashville. And you yourself, Brent, are not a member, but you do this every year. I'm not a member, but I'm pleased to have done it for, I know you've done it for 10 years? Not for 96 so. years, but I have been here a long time. <laughs> 96. So I haven't done it uh, all 96 years, but this is probably my fifth or sixth or, or seventh year. You know, those are the great things. That's the great thing about... Uh, about any Christmas event, it feels like family. It feels it only feels like Christmas when you're allowed to participate in, in those celebratory family group things, and that's what this is for me every year. A great cause and a great time to be with uh, family and friends. You know, they're always good waffles too. And we always see people, a lot of people that we a, know. A lot of people that we know. It's kind of grateful to see. It's people. kind of old home week for people that come because they see folks they see just once a year when they that's come. That's exactly to the, the case show. with me. Well, as you know, Brent, uh, I grew up on the Gulf Coast, and uh, the New Orleans culture has always been a big part of my life. So I took Jingle Bells and, and rewrote it just a little bit to kind of reflect the Christmas in New Orleans. Oh, yes. Yeah. Dashing through the snow is one way to go, but I'd rather pull the p road down the old bio. Keep your old fruitcake. It's a Christmas dish 
But I'd rather have red beans and rice and boiled coffee Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Cross the punch and train to New Orleans on Christmas Day Hey, you can tell streetcar bells clanging all the way It's Christmas in New Orleans, Orleans, they won't hold you late Christmas dinner time is quickly drawing near. God bless us each and every one in New Orleans this year. Galatoire's is fine, and two jacks feed you well. But give me Christmas dinner at the old Camellia Grill. Yeah, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cross the punch and train to New Orleans on Christmas Day. Hey, you can tell streetcar bells clanging all the way. It's Christmas in New Orleans or they say won't all you late. This time of year we pray like all the girls and boys. We sing our Christmas songs and there is reason to rejoice. But when we've sung our last, Noel and Father Love. We're happy cause it's just a few more weeks till Mardi Gras, yeah. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cross the punch and train to New Orleans on Christmas Day. Hey, you can tell streetcar bells clanging all the way. It's Christmas in New Orleans, so there's a ball on your lake. Yeah, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Cross the bunch of train to New Orleans on Christmas Day. Hey, you can tell streetcar bells clanging all the way. It's Christmas in New Orleans, oh les bons on roule. I said Christmas in New Orleans, oh les bons on roule. Hey. 2005 was the first year I showed up. I was a volunteer. And, uh, what I loved was the fact that it was packed with people, people that I'd never seen before, people from uh, uh, First Presbyterian Church and other churches around here, volunteers. In fact, what I noticed most is I was asked to go in the kitchen and see if I could help out, and there was like 20 people in the kitchen. And I can, and some of the older uh, generation at that time, my age now, uh, were in walkers or canes, and they were trying to get around it was <laughs> but they were so enthusiastic no matter how old they were they just wanted to be there because waffle shop was just a great great feeling mm -hmm. i mean just working waffle shop makes you smile and then if you come to waffle shop and you eat the waffles it makes you smile bigger you know so it's one of those fun fun things so many people love doing the waffle shop like the uh, bake shop and the uh, gift shop you could not pry Joanne Bow away from that. She loves it so much. And my wife loves it too, Linda. But so Tom, Wills, and Beth Gilmore and I decided we would run Waffle Shop. Right? We, we got together, we organized, and we did things different. We decided we wasn't going to have as many volunteers because a lot of the older volunteers we contacted just didn't want to do it anymore because they were too tired. So we did it, we organized it, we had a good one. We had a, a few bad years where the attendance was low, where the weather was bad, but you know, it kept it up. It's a joy, the waffle shop, that I, I remember. I will always remember the joy of just, at the end of the long day, when everyone's tired, it's a good tired, you know? It's a great tired.
the ways of it. Well, I had never seen a wife and child until I went and they went down there was really. And uh, I said, okay, I'll help with it. And so it would be done about on Tuesday. And then we would have a waffle shop as on Thursday, Thursdays it's not. And so then by Thursday, it's all ready to go. Everything's done, mm -hmm. essentially. And that worked out well for us and helped us. So we'd have that big day. We were cooking all day and selling these things. And uh, we had a, a kind of a, where people could bring things that they wanted for Christmas presents to people and, you know, to sell, to make money for us. And it, that worked out really well. And that's been going on from ever since, you, since I've been to the downtown Presbyterian Church. And we'd make some money off of whatever people would bring into that cell to sell for Christmas. Memories you have of, of, of Waffle Shop and you want to share? Well, uh, we normally have between 500 and 700 people attend. And many people downtown uh, have come for two or three decades. Uh, and I, I now for 10 years, I've taken up tickets, uh, usually uh, with somebody helping me and uh, people expect to see me there and I, and I see many old friends. I think of uh, Perry Biddle would always come from Donaldson Presbyterian. A bunch of ministers from First Church would always be there and as well as many members at First Church. I'm Paul Coffin, and this is the best place to be during waffle shop. You can see the whole kitchen, you can see them mixing the waffles, you can see the whole dining room, you can see them cooking the waffles, you can see all the way down the hallway and see how long the line is, and you can see everything from right here. <laughs> I'm Vicki Coffin, and usually I'm out there at the tables, and I am sorry that this year I'm not able to hug you and talk to you and serve you waffles, but I hope you will support Waffle Shop 2020 for the Downtown Presbyterian Church, and I hope I'll see you next year. church and celebrating the waffle shop since 1981 and we've seen a lot of changes in the downtown since that time i like to think about how the waffle shop was like a hundred years ago and who was coming to it then and then it was used to be that old women or would come and shop do their christmas shopping at castor knots and cane sloans and harvey's and enjoy a waffle before they shopped. After those stores closed, it became more like business people would come 
And uh, now we have so many people living downtown that it's available for everyone to come uh, to the waffle shop and enjoy the waffles, the music, and just the festivities of the day. And I've been coming for 40 years almost also, and it is just a great time. So Waffle Shop is also really important because it helps us raise money for our homeless ministry. Every Saturday morning, we distribute uh, meals for the homeless population here in Nashville, and we have a group of folks helping to make that happen. And everyone who participates in Waffle Shop contributes to that ministry. So I'm Erin, and for the last couple years, I have coordinated the silent auction. Um, so every year at Waffle Shop, we have a silent auction where we ask members of the congregation to donate goods and services for the auction. And also we ask uh, the downtown businesses to also participate by donating various items. Um, and it's been very moving to see not just the talents that we have within our church that people can donate, um, studio time, um, spinning, knitting, 
Um, we've had Chuck Johnson donate an airplane ride every year. Um, Jeff has been able to do his Mayberry dinners, which are amazing. There's just so much. I think through the auction, you really get a sense of the personality of our church, the talent of our church, and also maybe just the depth of our church. Um, and then it's also nice to just partner with, like I said, those downtown communities, the restaurants, the businesses. Um, it's nice to go in and put a face with a name and say, hi, you know, I'm the downtown press and we are doing this event. We'd love your support and to see the support. And then the community, when they buy those items, then they go to those businesses and they shop at those places, they eat at those restaurants. And I think it helps form a real partnership with the community that we'd like to strengthen. It's something we're definitely working on. Every year. Indeed, it's not quite the same feeling as uh, most years, but we're delighted to be here and appreciate it. And we appreciate your participation and your support, however you can help us. We, we really always appreciate the, the generous uh, contributions, you know, because usually during the waffle shop itself, not only, uh, you know, the, you, you pay for the waffles, you eat that, but there was all these little tip jars are not for us, they're for the church. So we appreciate all your generous support over the years. <laughs> I'll have a blue Christmas without you. I'll be so blue just thinking about you. Decorations of red on a green Christmas tree won't be the same, dear. Here you're not here with me And I went out over blue Snowflakes start falling That's the wind blows blue Memories start calling You'll be doing alright With your Christmas away but I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas I'll have a blue Christmas That's certain Yeah, when those blue hearts start hurting You'll be doing all right when your Christmas away, but I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Yes, you'll be doing all right when your Christmas away, but I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Oh, I'll have a blue, 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 blue Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hi, I'm Mary Turner, and I'm the co-chair of Waffle Shop 2020. I've been co-chair since 2017. My first couple of years was with Denny Harris, and if you attend Downtown Presbyterian Church, I don't have to tell you any more about Denny and how much he loves Waffle Shop. And other great help has been Rachel Hayes over the years. She's been a co-chair. And of course, Aaron with the silent auction, Joanne Bile in the holiday slash bake shop and her set of elves. And this year we got Mary Skinner on board who with her experience at the Tennessee State Museum has, it's just been phenomenal. So thank you for your support for our outreach programs. 2020 has been challenging with COVID, but the light is at the end of the tunnel and we should keep that holiday spirit within us, that downtown Presbyterian spirit. And remember there's 2021, so we'll see you then. Thank you.